I think Ice Coffee back with another toy review of the WWE Elite Fit Flashback Action Figure The Godfather. This ain't a brand new toy. This is a toy that came out a couple of years ago. I've had it since then, but I thought it'd, st it'd still be cool for the for me to review this toy because it's pretty neat. It's pretty dope. And I'm just showing you what it looks like in this box, just in case you might want to look for this figure. This is how it looks in the box. Here's his picture. It tells you it's his first time on the line because I know for this character, it was his first time, but for the guy who's playing this character, it's his second time because I think the first time he was Papa Shango. The first, time, the first one he had was Papa Shango. But with this figure, he's the godfather. And with this figure, you come you come with an including a hat, a cane, and a necklace. And I don't know why they put the vest on there, because the vest is not necessary. I wouldn't even count that as an accessory. But you got, you got the picture right here. You got the elite. I don't know what series this is. It might be 30, 40, 50. I don't remember. But but going outside the Marvel and jumping into the WWE stuff, this was the first figure I would just would just like to review was the Godfather. So here's his picture. Here's his his you know the whole profile. If you want to stop, just pause it. And then here's the other wrestlers that comes in part of this series with Sting, Dolph Ziggler, Damian Sandow. Um, British Bulldog and and Psycho Sid, aka Sid Vicious. But I'm I'm thinking about looking for that Sid Vicious because this is a pretty neat toy, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up for a minute. Just hold on for just. A now we're back with this figure, so we are gonna show you his accessories that he got on him. Hold on for just a minute. Let me get this camera. It's just, just acts crazy. But okay, let me see if I can do. Let me see if I can stand him up. Okay, here's the figure itself. Here's his accessories, like his his, his dope gold chain. Which you gotta be careful with it because it's kind of flimsy though. Like this part where it has his name on there, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough, but the necklace part is kind of flimsy. Like it's gonna break. So be careful with that one because the because this this chain is kind of weak. I think they could have did better with the chain. And here's the vest. There's nothing on here. Where well, I wish they could have. Did some more details because if you remember this wrestler, the Godfather, back in the late back in the late nineties, you he did have a lot of um detail and a lot of designs on his vests though. But this is all they just gave you right here though. So I guess at the time that's all he had. But I know later on in later on during his career he started to have like more designs and stuff around his vests and stuff. So. So here comes his his hat. I guess if you're gonna be a pimp wrestler, you can't be a pimp without your fly dress hat on. Let me put that on. On let me cock that to the side because it's it was kind of tough getting this fella out his box because I've been moving and stuff, so it's been kind of tough. Um, I don't know. I was it. Is this the right way? I it's the right way, but. When you're moving and stuff, and you gotta put your toys back in the box, they kind of get a little bit tough to put back. They get to be tough, and I guess because I put this, I don't know why his head bent up like that, but I'm gonna have to fix that up later on, though. And also, a pimp cane. Let me get a good review on this pimp cane. See, you got a pimp cane, so I... So you can't be a pimp. That's two things about if you're gonna be a pimp wrestler, you can't be a pimp wrestler without your hat, your gold chain, and especially you gotta have the cane, you know. I mean, I think they should have put a little bit more detail, but I don't think nobody's really gonna pay attention about the details on the cane. As long as he comes with the cane, that's really what that's
that really would have been dope. This ain't the first time this figure has been released. I mean, I think this is the first time he's been released from the toy company Mattel because I didn't think Mattel was gonna actually bring this character out though because, because this was a pimp wrestler and I didn't know if they wanted to sell this to kids, but they know mostly collectors are gonna mostly be buying this figure though. So what we're gonna so what we gonna look right here? Hold on for just a minute. My leg stand just popped off, but but articulations. So we're gonna get to the articulations of this figure. It bends. It's got double knee joints. I never really paid that much attention. It's got double knee joints. It goes up and down. It's got the ankle pivot, which everybody loves, which I don't like ankle pivot. It makes me think that the, the ankles is gonna fall off. So I don't really like ankle pivot. You got, the, he can, you know, he could probably go 360 around the legs. He got open thighs. You can see that in the joints, you know. He's got, he's got more, he's got, you know, the up and down, you know. He got the articulate hands. He's got the swivels. He's got the joints. He's he's basically a pretty good figure to have, though. And I know Jack Specific had had their version of the Godfather for the classic superstars lined up, which I oh snap! I sure forgot about one thing. My bad. If you can see the shades or have a good um. A good nice look of the shades here. His shades. My bad on the shades. I almost forgot about it. But they didn't they didn't include that. That's kind of dumb. They didn't include that in the box. Because it's kind of crazy that it's kind of crazy that they didn't they include the dumb vest, but they didn't include the shades. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of kind of dumb and stupid though. But anyway, Jack Specific did their own version of this figure, and it was it was the classic superstars lined up. I used to collect those back in the day. The classic superstars lined up. I hated that I missed that figure, but but I was patient enough but to find another one, and then bam, Jack, not Jack, but Martell made another one. Ain't that good because you know because the the um, Jack Pacific one became more became more expensive the more years that it had though. But this figure is a pretty neat figure to have if you're a big fan of the Attitude Era or you just like this wrestle, just snatch him up though because I know I did. This was part of my childhood. I remember this wrestler back in the nineties. And I always thought he was a pretty cool wrestler, though. He had a pretty good gimmick, pretty good style, you know. I mean, what's not to like about this character? I know some people might get offended and think this is a bad stereotype for a black wrestler. But to some of us, he was just dope because of the attitude and the gimmick he had. Look back on it, it is kind of, you know, offensive. But, you know, it is what it is. But... And my flaws about this figure is I wish they could have just gave him I didn't I don't like this I know it's based on a pay-per-view event or an event they was in or something. I guess that reason why they gave him this style. But I really rather him to have my most memorable thing about the Godfather was him wearing a purple vest with yellow pants, with bright with bright yellow pants. That's the one thing I remember about the Godfather. And, and I just just wish they could have did that color. But hey, I mean, it is what it is at times. And I'm just glad they just came. I'm just glad they made another one. Because I missed the Papa Shango one. And they don't really have a pretty good price on the Papa Shango and and the Ultimate Warrior 2 pack. So so I haven't really got a chance to get that. But the thing about me is, reason why I got this figure because it takes me back to my childhood, you know, back to, back in 89, I mean, not 89, but 98 and 99, you know, watching WWE doing the Attitude Era, and this, and this makes the Attitude Era be dope. He was one of the characters that made, that helped make the Attitude Era dope, though. 
I mean, in the Attitude Era, you had, I mean, yes, The Rock, Mankind, Stone Cold, Undertaker, DX, you know, they was doing their thing in the Attitude Era. They helped, they helped people watch, watch wrestling. But to my opinion, it's like mid cards, like The Godfather, Al Snow, um, The Brood, um, D'Lo Brown, and the rest of them crazy characters, you know, that wasn't, you know, they weren't main inventors, but they weren't low card. They was, they was mid card characters, but they was, but they all had different personalities, and and that's what made it made it be cool though. But I'm just glad to catch just catch on to this figure, and like I said, if you're a fan of the if you're a fan of the Attitude Era, or you just 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 really like this character, or you remember this character, he's a good pick to pick up, you know. I've looked him up, and mostly I can mostly find him for like twenty dollars. I've did my research, just like places like Amazon or Toy Wiz or places like um, Macari's. I've only seen him for like twenty or seventeen dollars. But if you, but if you're looking for the Jack specific Godfather figure that they made in two thousand and six, the one with the um, fur coat. Now I've seen him on Amazon for fourteen dollars. I'm gonna probably try and catch, try to snatch that one up, right? But other than that, this is a pretty cool figure. Sorry, he just fallen. He just can't stay down. I mean, stay up. But this is a good figure to have. I mean, this if let. I mean, if if your kids like wrestling fans, get them this figure. Or you're just a fan of this wrestler, or. You or your kids are big on WWE figures, and you remember this figure as a kid, and now you got kids. It's another toy, like I said about the past two toys. This is a toy that you can give to your kids and have them playing with this, you know. Or this is a good action figure to have on display because most of these wrestling figures, some people say keep them in their boxes, but open those figures because. These figures like this don't need to be stuck in boxes forever. This is a figure that deserves to be on a, on a display stand with other action figures. Because it's crazy to realize that this figure is taller than most Marvel f le Legends. And I don't get it. Like, why is Marvel Legends is, is like 20-some, past 20-some dollars, and, and you put them... I promise you, if you got Marvel Legends and WWE Elite figures, put your Elite figures against standing next to a Marvel Legend. It will look over your superheroes, and that's crazy when the soup when the wrestlers looking over. I mean, looking down at the superheroes. So, so other than that, like I said, this is a pretty good figure to have. You know, if you're a fan of this guy. Pick them up. I've seen them for like twenty some dollars. The highest I've seen them is for twenty, and twenty only. But I would say he's probably cheap compared to most of these elites. I'm not a really a big fan of the wrestling since 2013, so it ain't really too many wrestlers that I'm gonna pick up. I will probably pick up mostly the old school ones, basically mostly the old school ones. But. That's round about it so far. So, like, share, and comment. And that's it, y'all. Peace.